I'm Dr. Ben Newman. I'm a coronavirologist. Uh, let's try to answer your questions. This is Ask Dr. Ben. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. The next one is from Sarah. Yeah, more than Sarah. Um, all right, uh, let's see. I know, okay, so Sarah asks, I know that the vaccine prevents serious illness and death. And yeah, that has been the case in all of the vaccine studies that I've read where there were enough people to actually look for, uh, look for that. Yeah, so I think that's all right. Um, but that we still have a chance of catching COVID. Now that's, I would say, older information there is a chance but it is a much 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 lower chance so let's uh let's finish the question so my question is have studies been done if the vaccine prevents long-haul syndrome fantastic question yeah okay so long-haul covid uh or long-haul syndrome whatever you like is when a person gets the virus and instead of getting really sick and then getting over it or not getting over it um you know over the course of i don't know uh, a week or two like normal or like a month for severe cases, you have a person that gets usually a little bit sick, but not terribly sick, but they just keep the virus for a long time. So long haul COVID, as far as we can tell, it seems to be most common in people that have problems with their immune system. And the immune system is supposed to uh, be essentially cleaning up the virus and knocking it out. But the immune system unfortunately works at random so you don't have any cells that can just look at a virus and say yeah yeah i got it you know like a good painter and then yeah yeah make a good image of it and be like yeah i can recognize that um you have a series of random processes um some of them are a little bit biased in your favor thanks goodness but uh yeah the the cells will make changes and then it'll just like hold up different versions of its protein and if they stick to the virus great and if they don't then that cell goes off to die and there's another cell that comes in waiting in line to try the same thing and uh yeah it's that over and over again um so uh let's see uh so when you have long haul syndrome it is either a failure of the immune system to start that process or a failure of the immune system to complete that process but you'll often see that with people that are immunosuppressed or people who have had transplants and are on immunosuppressive drugs, like on purpose. Um, yeah, so as, as far as I've been able to figure out from journals anyway, that, that seems to be it. Um, so would a vaccine prevent that? Probably, and here is why. So we know from two big studies now. So there was a big one in Israel that had 1.2 million people in it and they looked to see whether or not people actually caught the virus. Now, it wasn't done as thoroughly as I would like. They didn't go out and stick a Q-tip up everybody's nose, or you can just test saliva. That's actually, I think, a better test um, uh, every day or every week. They just let those people be tested at work or in normal ways or go get a test if they felt sick. But um, in doing that, they found that the ones that got vaccinated had something like 70% um, less virus infections than the people who didn't get vaccinated. So, yes, it definitely works there. It's not as effective. So it was extremely effective at preventing death, a little less effective at preventing hospitalization, a little less effective at preventing getting sick at all, and a little less effective at stopping you from getting the virus, but still 70% effective at stopping you from having any virus at all pretty good in my book um but there were flaws in that study like i said um there's a new study that just came out uh, from the cdc about a week ago uh, and it was reported in morbidity and mortality weekly report which is a just a journal that i love the name of so much um and uh this one actually looked at a group of about four thousand people that work in hospitals doctors nurses etc and um, they actually did give these people vaccines or not and swab them. Um, I believe it was once a week. It was regularly anyway, even if they weren't sick, just to test. And so then they could actually look and see whether or not, you know, does vaccination prevent you from getting sick, um, or rather catching the virus at all? And they ended up with about the same results as the Israeli study it was somewhere around 70 percent protection, if I remember correctly. So based on that, yeah, it looks like 
being vaccinated stops you from catching the virus. And if you don't catch the virus, you can't have long haul COVID because long haul COVID is your failure to make an immune response. But the vaccine is a much nicer way to make that immune response um, because you get the part that the body needs to recognize, which is the spike protein, and you don't have all the other parts of the virus that are essentially there to fight you every inch of the way <laughs> toward that uh, point. So yeah, you lose the immunosuppressive parts of the virus, you have just the part that you need to recognize, and it seems to do a really good job. So indirectly, I think yes. Directly, I haven't read a study where uh, anybody's tested. And long haul COVID as a whole is rare enough still that I don't know how you could even recruit enough people. You know, you'd have to be vaccinated millions and millions, which I guess we are, but all in the same study. Uh, to figure out if um, uh, vaccination prevents long haul. I, I think it would have to because it prevents infection. But at the same time, this is science and it's good to test these things. So yeah, that's as close as we can get to an answer uh, right now until somebody comes up with the uh, multi, multi million person data set uh, that can actually answer that question directly. But I think, um, yeah, I think we can be pretty confident uh, for now that that's probably the direction it's going to go in. So there you go. Thanks very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.